Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of requests on how I fill my eyebrows and I did have a video on this. It was one of like my first videos that I did and I watched it and I was kind of laughing because for one, I totally do them differently now because I like to shape my eyebrows differently. But also because it was one of my first videos and I was very like, like it was so funny <laughs> to me. But um, the main thing that I do differently is that I kind of do the shape differently and I also have taken some tips from watching a lot of different beauty gurus and girls on Instagram post their um, eyebrow tutorials and kind of just using what works best for me. So what I have found and I have tried countless amounts of times to use the eyebrow um, pencil, it doesn't just does not work for me like at all. Like my best friend uses it and hers always look awesome and I bought the same exact one and it just doesn't work well for me. And so I continue to use my eyeshadow um, and I use Brune from MAC and obviously I'm probably need to get a new one because this one's about done but this lasts me a really long time because I primarily do use it for my eyebrows and then I use my MAC 266 brush which I actually probably need to replace because I've been using this for a while too. Um, I went ahead and I did this eyebrow first mainly because this is like my renegade eyebrow so what everyone needs to realize and what I know that I need to realize because I constantly am in striving for my eyebrows to be exactly the same they're not going to be like I know that this one kind of gives me a little bit more height than this one um, and then this one just is a little bit like I don't know I just feel like this one's my harder one to like actually do this one is a, let a, a lot better well behaved eyebrow like I feel like it just always just does what I want it to. So I usually do this one first and see how it comes out before I work on this one. The only thing is this one does grow. My eyebrows actually even grow in different directions. Like this one kind of grows more like up and this one grows more like that way. Um, and you can't even tell. So the first thing that I started doing differently versus my other video is I no longer start by filling right here. So that's going to give your eyebrow like a more natural look if you just kind of leave this alone and at the end kind of smooth over it but not try to make like a square pretty much because that's what I used to do. I feel like I would kind of make like, you know, fill here and it'd be just like very square and just leaving my eyebrows looking not as natural. So. Um, the first thing I do is I just dip my brush into my eyeshadow and I line the shape that I want it to be under my my eyebrow. So basically like this. So if I want it to be a little fuller, I come down a little under there. So that and I go under the entire thing. Then I do the exact same thing on the top, but more so starting in the middle, not so much um, at the front point of the brow. And lately, the dif the biggest difference in my shape is that I've been doing mine a little bit more like rounded than like a pointed arch, um, which is what I used to do, and like going for like a more fuller brow. And so. Kind of just rounding it around and then you'll see that I kind of have like a little gap here but it's okay because I'm going to fill that in. Come down to the point and you want your point to kind of like come um, thinner as it goes down like that. And then I'm going to go in and fill all of that area that was kind of bare my pencil and just kind of doing some light strokes and I also kind of like to blend my hair up so that it's like covering that area and then at this point I kind of like to kind of see if it's pretty much matching my eyebrow on the other side which it, to me it looks like it is let me double check. Yep. And then I'll kind of go through the front. Just like that. But not really like a defining shape. And then play around with it a little. 
make sure that it's like arched how I want it to. If anything, all you have to do is kind of like go in and kind of dust off the area right here to get that arch going up a little more, like that one. So I think that the way that I do it is super easy and honestly I just got my eyebrows done but I should have. I was contemplating doing this video yesterday before I got my eyebrows done because my eyebrows were like serious ratchet. ratchet. Like they look so bad because I've been trying to grow them out. I feel like as I'm threading, I get them threaded and as I thread and thread and thread like they just get them thinner and thinner and thinner and so I was like no I'm going to grow them out and then I started doing my eyebrows this way and so even while I was growing them out I've been able to achieve the same exact look that I have right now that a lot of people have been asking like oh how do you do your eyebrows and literally under all of, under the shadow is like these just ratchet eyebrows so this is just a really good helpful method for me and I feel like it looks really natural um, and also like my finishing touch with it is kind of going through with this um, spoolie and I'll just brush through the hair in the direction I want it and then if you want to set your brows I highly recommend Anastasia setting um, brow setting um, uh, whatever clear brow gel <laughs> and I just put that all over my brows and kind of in the same direction um, that I, I pulled the spoolie and the spoolie helps to kind of comb that color through your hair so it still looks pretty natural in this setting um, this setting stuff if you use too much of it it can be like a little crunchy so you want to kind of make sure your wand's not like full of it but it works really really well and it keeps my eyebrows like in place all day so that is it. I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the bottom comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.